Welcome to SureFit's AFO casting video. We will be covering best practices, materials needed for casting, and a step-by-step -step process to cast your patient. First, let's cover the materials needed. If you are in need of any of the materials, please reach out to your sales representative or customer service. Casting tape, preferably fiberglass to prevent the need for a cast saw. Casting sock, cut to the appropriate length. Cut off two. Indelible marker, measuring tape, ML caliper, room temperature water, order form to collect measurements, a piece of paper long enough to encompass the patient's foot and the necessary measurements. If you should need any of these materials, please reach out to customer service or your sales representative. To begin, roll the casting sock onto the patient's leg about a half inch to an inch above the desired finished height and leave about the same past the patient's toes. Place your patient's foot on the paper. This will assist with the foot measurement. Next, wet your indelible marker and mark the bony prominences of the ankle and foot. This should include the medial and lateral malleus, the medial and lateral first and fifth IPJ, the base of the fifth metatarsal, and any other bony prominences. The necessary measurements will include the ML at the metatarsal's head, the ML at the malleus, the foot length plus 3 8 inch beyond the longest toe, the finished brace height, the circumference at the finished height. The measurements should be taken with the patient sitting in a semi-weight bearing position. You can record your measurements on the order form in the required fields. Using your caliper, measure the patient across the foot at the first and fifth metatarsal heads and the apex, the medial and lateral malleus. Next, make a mark on the paper that the patient is resting their foot on behind the heel at the longest toe, then about 3 8 inch from the longest toe. Record the length in inches from the mark at the heel to the mark 3 8 inch beyond the longest toe. Now you can record the finished brace height and circumference measurement at the finished brace height. Casting technique. Quality input equals quality output. Depending on the size of patient's leg and the desired finished height, you may want to have two rolls of casting tape nearby. Using room temperature water, submerge the casting tape for just a few moments. Next, pull the tape out and gently squeeze excess water into your container. Your patient can hold the top of the casting tube or you can use a piece of tape to hold in place at the top of the tube. Start wrapping around the calf, just above the finished height of the brace. Be sure to overlap the casting material using light to medium tension and to massage the material in as you go if possible. As you wrap around the heel, you may want to pause and lean over to ensure you have captured the Achilles area and plantar aspect of the heel. Remember the patient is in a semi-weight bearing position and it's not necessary to apply significant pressure during the casting. Cut away any excess casting material. Next, we begin smoothing the cast. This is necessary to ensure the integrity of the casting material so that the layers bond and hold the form of the patient's foot and leg. Using light to medium pressure, work the casting material around the entire cast, taking extra care around the heel and bony prominences. Position the patient's foot into the finished position while the casting material sets. Patients have a tendency to roll their feet and knees in or out during the casting time. You may want to assist your patient by laying your hand on their knee to help them stay in place. This will ensure the best possible outcome. Next, take your indelible pencil and draw a line down the center of the casting tube from the top of the cast to the bottom. Now go down this line about every three to four inches and make a bisecting mark that's about one inch long with your indelible pencil. This will assist the lab when they receive the cast by making sure the marks align properly for optimal results. Cast removal. 
It's important to allow for enough time for the cast to set or harden. If it's too wet when you go to remove the cast, it will not hold its form. Additionally, you may want to avoid waiting too long to remove the cast as it will become difficult to remove from the patient's leg. With time and practice, you will become familiar with the window of time to remove the cast. Start at the top, start cutting down the casting tube. Just prior to reaching the foot, start at the toes section and begin cutting along the tube until you get to the leg section. Continue to cut along the tube from both approaches until the cast is completely separated. Pull the casting sock up and over the top edge of the cast and cut the casting sock. You should pull the sock away from the patient's leg as you are cutting away to reduce the risk of coming in contact with the patient. Now you can open the cast at the ankle and have the patient remove their leg from the cast. Cast Review Indicate patient information, including their name or patient ID. Fill out the order form completely, remembering to include your account number. Several key takeaways when reviewing the cast prior to shipping are the cast should reflect the final limb position as much as possible. The cast should be above the final brace height. The cast should be strong enough to withstand the shipping. You can ball up paper and place this inside the cast to help preserve the integrity during shipping. If you require assistance, please contact customer service and speak to one of our clinicians or contact your sales representative. Thank you for choosing SureFit.